Testing, one, two, three. My man. Hey. Joshua. What's up? How you doing, dude? I'm doing good. It's been a while since we've done this. It, it, yeah, in the dungeon again. Two days. Back in the dungeon. Back in the dark. I like it in the dark. I do. I like it in the dark, too. So we're, we're here back at my house. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're listening to this, which I hope you are if you're hearing this, <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> what? fuck's wrong with me. This mm. episode actually will air the day after our big 50th live show from the yeah. Speakeasy. And you were all there. Hopefully. Yeah. Man, that part when you whipped your dick out was so was awesome. A, a little, it was weird. You were a little drunk. I was a little drunk. I was a little drunk. Then I started sucking it. That and was, that's, that's what was weird. Yeah, it was real weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's kind of weird. We're in this weird space. We're doing a 49th episode from mm-hmm. my house. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're usually at the beautiful Paramount Studio, mm-hmm. Paramount Building, downtown Oklahoma City. But we're doing it here, kind of on a time crunch, getting this last episode in so we can have our big 50 yes. live at the speakeasy. Which we don't even need to plug it because it already happened. It already happened. You were already there. You were already there. I guess Funder Up's going on though, right? This will come out the day. The day of Funder Up? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're listening to this Friday. Go to Speakeasy. Yeah. Twitch.tv forward slash Funder Up. Check it out. We won't spend much time. We've talked about it on the show. You guys guys know what's going on. You know what's going on. Yeah, baby. Oh, Jesus. I brought a friend. (laughs) You did. Oh, yeah. Finally. Mr. Powers. So uh, I... I've been thinking about this for a while. Mm-hmm. Did a little, uh, what do you call that? Market research? Sure. Uh, peer group? Focus group. Focus group. That's mm-hmm. the word I'm looking for, the term. And uh, the results are in. And guess what? Do I make you horny? <laughs> it's here. It's here. <laughs> it's here and it's here to stay. The Austin Bauer soundboard. Yep. I'm a, I got to name this thing, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Ron and Fez. Mm-hmm. And they, do they name their soundboard? Ron had a laptop back in the day, okay, and he referred to it as Lappy Five Thousand, okay, so, which I always thought was just adorable. Mm-hmm. So I need to name my, my my friend here because oh boy, is he full of good sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to figure him out. I'll, we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's gender specific though. It's a male. Uh, yeah, it's a male. It's okay. an extension of me, so it's a male. Okay, it's my son. Okay, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Junior, <laughs> the third. <laughs> the th- hey, hand me the third. Mm. Anyways, I don't Anyways. know. Um, this will be an experiment. We're actually running all the music, all the intro, outro, all that good shit on right that off board. the board. So, no yeah. editing done. No, this is this is live and off the cuff. So I want to start out with something, man. Okay. Last night, my D&D group got together. Mm-hmm. Wonderful group of gentlemen. There's uh, five of us total. Four adventurers and me, the DM. The DM. And, you know, we do this every other Friday. Mm-hmm. It's a regular thing. Having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Every fr- every time we get together, every other Friday, there's a big question. Mm-hmm. What we gonna eat? What we gonna eat? Usually pizza, right? You would assume? Usually pizza. It's a safe bet. Last night, we ordered $72 worth of hot wings. What? Yeah. From where? That's a lot of wings. <laughs> it's a shitload <laughs> of wings. That's a lot of wings. <laughs> when the dude brought them, we ordered them from Pizza Hut. Okay. Daniel, one of the guys in the group, good buddy of mine. Shout out, Daniel. Mm-hmm. Egan, the wizard. He was like, man, Pizza Hut's wings aren't terrible because we were going to go to B-Dubs, but we didn't want to interrupt the flow of the game. Right. We were men on a mission. Mm-hmm. So we ordered, we took a chance and ordered these wings, $72 worth. And man, it was, they were incredible. They yeah. were incredibly, I was, I was shocked by how good they were. Because I see, I didn't know if Pizza Hut would have a deep fryer. I thought maybe they were like some microwave or oven jobs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they slap them on a tray, run them through that pizza well, oven. Like bagel bites. They just put them in that little microwave tray. Yeah. N- no, mm. not not the case. Deep fried, crispy. Good. 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 Meaty. What juicy. were their sauce choices? They have several. Uh, I went for the uh, medium buffalo. Okay. So not too spicy, but. Not too spicy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Austin went for the honey barbecue. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, we were the bone-in fellas, of course, mm-hmm. Natch, and then the other three. Boneless. And they did the chicken Which is, nuggets. It's, it's essentially nuggets. It's yeah. a chicken fucking it's a nugget. Chicken nugget. I don't consider... Or a chicken strip, depending on the size of the wing. Well, yeah. strip or nug, it's not a wing. No, it's not a no. wing. No. And, and, and I'm no purist. Like, that's fine. If you want to order that, you can sit at the at the kid's table, but you got to eat that shit off the bone. It yeah. makes you savage. Dude, I'm obsessed with wings. Yeah, you've been on a wing kick for quite a while. Oh, dude, I need that hashtag classic heat. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's not. There's nothing like it, man. There's nothing like it. So we get these wings, dude. We kill 
All of them. All of them. So, okay, so how much is, so you said the delivery guy came up. Did he have like two, like, because a delivery bag for pizza is like that, I don't know how to describe it. You, like Everyone's like, seen a delivery bag for pizza. Yeah, like the keep it warm. Yeah. Uh, it's like can- a giant messenger bag yeah, for it's pizza. it's like a canvas bag. Yeah. Uh, with, with Usually with like a foil, like a, like a metal metallic so liner. So how, how do they do that with $72 worth of wings? Two bags. Two bags. Yeah. Okay. They come in these weird like globular uh, black boxes globular meaning globe like yes okay yeah not glob well there were globs of sauce but uh oh that sauce come get horny do i make you horny <laughs> yes <laughs> this is gonna be fun matt i hope you're <laughs> hope you're enjoying this matt was the guy that tipped the scale for me yeah he said do it did he he but said he's a hater of soundboards isn't he he said do it never look back okay yet i have his blessing oh anyway so <laughs> Dude, it, so we get the wings, we get them in, we get mm-hmm. them safe and sound, tip right. the driver, give him a thumbs up, he sure. goes along his way. We pause the D&D because lesson learned last night. Yeah. You can sl- you can eat some slices when you're playing D&D. Can't eat fucking hot wings. Wings are messy. You can't wings eat are, hot wings. They're messy and it takes a lot. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, well, it, it, it goes against the, the whole getting them boneless. You're eating, you're just popping them in your mouth. Yep. The whole, the wing is, it's a journey. It's a, it's a mission it's a uh, uh, it's an adventure, much like your D and D adventure. It is, and I rolled a nat twenty on those. Did you wings. guys did you guys incorporate the wings into? No, we just that's a good idea. The game next time. Yeah, we pause the game, nosh the wings, mm-hmm. hardcore, ate them all, ate every wing in the house. Awesome. Dipped them in some blue cheese. Dipped them in some ranch. So how many dudes? How many dudes are on your team? There are five of us total. Five seventy dollars worth of wings. That's I mean, it was about a hundred wings. So it was about 20 wings per person. That's a lot of fucking wings, dude. We were all real hungry. I bet. I mean. But not after that, you were full. No, and, and man, then came the farts. Then came the farts. It was the it was the smelliest, gassiest D&D session I've ever played. Wing farts. But it was fun. We had a all great right. time. All right. So, all but, right. Um, so I learned a trick about wings. And then I'm going to shut up about wings. But oh, I have, I have, one, I have this is wing talk. Mm-hmm. Um, so the whole thing that started this, and I think I mentioned this before, was the Hot One series yes. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching them last night before the D&D group comes over because I'm trying to watch all of them. I want to sure. watch every single one. There's a lot of them. D- dude, there's like 50 mm-hmm. or 60 or something like that. Maybe maybe more than that. Um, I watched the Burt Kreischer one. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be honest. Burt Kreischer never really does it for me. No. I don't think he's like stupid or bad or anything. He's just not my style. I like him on podcasts and uh, probably Hot Ones. Uh, his stand up is not really my uh, okay. my cup of tea. I've only heard him on podcasts yeah. and I've been like like I don't know. I don't like that like his whole st- the shtick. Yeah, yeah, like I'm a party animal dude. I'm like dude, leave that to Spuds McKenzie. You're a comedian. <laughs> but he taught so I watched his episode of Hot Ones and you know what? He redeemed himself a bit because yeah. he taught me a trick. Mm-hmm. You know when you get your wings, you got the little drumstick yeah. and then you got the like the double bone. Right. Um, you take the double bone and you twist it. Twist it, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm new to this. The trick. But man, I did it. Okay. So this morning I wake up and uh, Eric, my, my wife went out. She, it's it's cool. She she always like, she always blows the scene mm-hmm. on D&D nights, gives us our privacy, lets us get into character, be who we sure. really are. A bunch of fucking nerds yeah. eating wings. Yeah, and yeah. farting. And yeah. farting, yeah. Um, so she stayed out pretty late last night with some friends. Um, I, I, the guys left. We We hung out till 3.30 in the morning. Mm, not us all inside. Nope. City's looking like a ghost town mm-hmm. on a wingless summer night. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, baby. Sh- should I move on to another one, maybe? <laughs> I'm, I'm, let's, see. Let's, let's, let it, let's let it happen naturally. Yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. this is just off the cuff. Okay, so continue, 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, so, so I go to sleep, wake sure. up. Uh, Erica sleeps in because she, she got home real late. I think she got home at like four or something like that. So I get up and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. What do I do? I'm going to give you a guess. I don't, the wings were gone, so you couldn't make wings. Did you try to make wings on your own? Could you go to the store and buy wings? No. What did you do? Pulled out laptop. Laptop right over there. Pulled ordered, it out. You ordered more wings. I did. <laughs> From Pizza Hut. I did. Same delivery driver coming back? No. And that's what I was thinking about. I was like, this is going to be really embarrassing. Yeah. So yeah, I ordered more. At 3.30 in the morning? No, 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 no. This this morning. Oh, this morning. Yeah, yeah. When I woke up. So is that the smells? The wings? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guessed it. Okay. Them wings, man. I'm, I am in. I'm in. You're, you're, you're a wingman. I, I truly am. Mm-hmm. So, so how are you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing all right, man. Uh, I've been, you, you asked me earlier how, uh, 
how my night was last night. I didn't do shit. I sat on a couch and I watched a terrible movie. And then I watched the second half of that last Dave Chappelle special. And then I was asleep and in bed by 930. That's been every fucking week. I don't go out anymore. Like, I, And it's nice. Yeah. Like dinosaurs, like you can go out. I'm like, nah. Sure. I'll think about it, but just nothing. I'm too old for this shit. Exactly. I feel that way. Because like, like last weekend, I sent out this blast to friends like, I want to go out tonight. Let's rage. You're hitting the town. Hitting the town. And that was at six because I had a beer with my meal that I ended up not even finishing that one beer. So then like when, when I don't know, eight, eight o'clock rolls around and I find myself in the jam room just making songs and then 10 o'clock rolls around. I'm like, I don't really feel like going out. Yeah. It yeah. happens, man. Yeah. Go upstairs and go to bed. Yeah. I don't, I don't go out hardly at all anymore. Right. I've been going out a little more, mm-hmm. um, but I'm, as I get older, I'm more of a fan of the um, after work beer. Yeah. Like go have the beer. Mm-hmm. Go have the one or two beers. Get and then, that out of the way. Then go home. Yeah. Go home to your to your to your lovely wings, mm-hmm. and and have 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 a dinner. In more ways than one. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. I, yeah, I stayed up till three thirty playing D and D, watching metal videos, farting. It was great. I what bet. have I become? A, a wingman. You've become <laughs> a wingman. That, I, guess. I guess that's the life of a wingman. It is, man. Yeah. So yeah, um, we're he- we're here in the dungeon. The, my computer monitor just decided to turn off, so it, it is. And that's very dark. <laughs> really dark. Hold on, I'm gonna remedy that situation real quick. Oh man, you got the remedy. So yeah, man, we've been having some good episodes. I I just uh I want to take a moment to like thank those of you who are listening mm-hmm. and giving us feedback. Man, it means the world to us, and I I just really hope that this live show went off well. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I am, but I mean, I. I I'm getting a lot of positive response. The uh, event page seems to be growing and growing. Popping. Which is nice. Yeah. I mean, if we can get like half those people to show up, it'd be great. It'd be great. It was great. It was great. Man, okay. So I I got to thinking the other night. Uh Um, My wife drives a CRV, Mm -hmm. a Honda CRV. And I think it's a 2000, 2001 maybe. It's it's old. It's got Mm -hmm. some miles on it. It's in great shape for its age. Mm -hmm. It's a kick-ass vehicle. Like I drive it, I drive a newer car. Right. Um, I've always, I've always been a newer car kind of guy. Like I, I hate paying for it. I right. hate, I hate writing out that bill every month, but I do like. Yeah. I haven't seen you in like an older car since high school. Yeah. And even then they weren't old, old. No, no. I, I got lucky when I was younger. My dad bought me my first like two cars mm-hmm. after that, man, he worked for General Motors. Right. So I got a discount. He got a pretty decent discount anytime he bought a car, mm-hmm. uh, a friends and family discount. So it allowed me to drive like decent newer vehicle, well, new vehicles right? and, and pretty much pay the same price as I would if I was paying off a used car. Right. And I never had the money to like plunk down like six grand or five grand or four grand on a, on a used car. So right. just pay that shit off. Well, anyways, I'm driving my wife's CRV the other day. She was parked behind me. I had to run to the store. So I took her car and I got to thinking, why, why is, why do none of the auto companies reissue a car? Like do a throwback car, a throwback. Yeah, well, they they kind of do with the Camaro and the, uh, but they don't do them like they used to. It, but it's not a true throwback. No. It might be styled after a certain one. Right. But like the okay, like the CRV, the Honda CRV, mm-hmm. and especially the body style of my wife's CRV. It's boxy. It's before they got all rounded and and, and you know, plasticky and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's metal. It it feels like you're riding in a fucking covered wagon, but like in the best way. Like right. you can see out in every direction. Mm-hmm. It's super nineties inside. So would you want it total throwback, like cassette, what? AM, FM? No. So let's 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 go over this. I want the body. Okay, I want the 2018 CRV mm-hmm. to have the body style exactly like mm-hmm. the 2000. Okay. Okay. I want the gauges to all be the same. I want I want the interior to be the exact same. With some modern amenities. Sure. Bluetooth, aux in, reverse camera, maybe just like a screen. Sure. Um, you know, power, power windows and doors, the huge. So what would something like that set you back, you would think? I'm guessing probably what? They probably start around 17. Sure. 18. Sure. Thou. I just wonder why company. Like, I mean, it's 17 years old, so. There, but there, there hasn't been a single car company that I know of. That has done that. Well, no, I mean, like I said, again, they've done like Chevy's done the Camaro, Ford's done the the Shelby Mustang, and then the Ford did the Thunderbird. But again, the body style looks somewhat similar. But An updated it, take. Updated take. On a classic. Uh, I do believe, I read something like last year 
that Jeep is doing it with the Grand Wagoneer, the 80s model Grand Wagoneer, like the bitchin' one that I used to have. Yeah. They're totally making that the exact same way, doing a new line in like 2018 or whatever. Well, see, they're on it. Yeah. They got the idea. Yeah. They're going to have the look. They're going to have the sales. And it's probably going to be about 40. I mean, it's going to be expensive. I mean, those are, they're big, big, big cars. They're going to be pricey. Totally. That's a good idea, though. But for like, well, yeah, like a, well, like a Geo Metro, like a 1999 Geo Metro hatchback. (laughs) I mean, I don't know about that. (laughs) Like maybe like the cool cars. I don't know. But a Honda CRV is a cool car. It's a pretty bitchin' ride, man. All right. It's cool. All right. Well, our buddy Matt, he recently bought a, a Jeep. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the model, but it's... I think it's a, a Cherokee. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, he came over yesterday, uh, had to drop something off, and I checked out his ride. Like, he he, he proudly showed me the seat fabric. Yeah. Because we kind of have this it's running... It's in really good condition. Yeah, it's tight. It looks cool. It smells good inside, which is kind of rare for older cars. You know, they usually start smelling like oil, like burnt oil or something. But... He was, he proudly showed me the seat fabric because we kind of have this running joke about nineties car seat fabric. Do you remember? It's like, it would always be like gray, Mm -hmm. like dark gray. And then there'd be some like teal and coral, like zigzags in it Uh, or like patterns. And it's a very specific pattern. Mm -hmm. We've gone as far as to Google it and find the patterns that we're thinking of in this nostalgic way. Right. And uh, his, his car seats, the Cherokee, uh, they're not exactly what we what we've talked about, mm-hmm. but they're like close enough to like spark that bit of nostalgic, you know, recall in your brain. And that would be one of the things you'd want to have in a throw a quote throwback car. Yeah, and see that's the thing. Honda's gonna fuck it up. They're gonna they're gonna make it modern. Sure. They're gonna make the seats like more contour. Contour, like racing seats or whatever. Dude, yeah, like yeah. Erica's the CRV, hers. Like you sit in the driver's seat and it's like, it's not, it doesn't hug your body like a modern car. Like mm-hmm. your car is kind of like a little spaceship. Yeah. You know, you sit in there and you just feel like you're surrounded like mm-hmm. perfectly. The CRV, it feels like you're sitting on a fucking bench. Yeah. Like when you're driving a bench seat. And you don't want to sit in it for very long. <laughs> no, but we've taken, we've taken it on trips and it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Man, growing up, I remember that, that dad bench seat. Oh yeah. The, like the front, like the front bench seat. All we had the way a across. Crown Victoria when I was a kid. And uh, we used to be like my mom and one of us, my dad, me, one of us, and then my mom. And then in the back seat was the other two kids. And then my dad rigged a TV. Jerry rigged. Yeah, one His of those little small TVs with the little antenna on the back of it that snaps on it, you know? Mm-hmm. And he would plug that into the DC or the AC thing. And we'd watch TV in the back seat. Be- before the days. Of like having TVs in the car. Never had a TV in a car. Yeah. Never did. That's tight. I yeah. do remember though, my dad drove an old pickup. Uh, old, big, big old pickup. And man, it was a piece of shit. I mean, he kept it running. He's always been real good like that. But man, it was a piece of crap. I bet if you saw it today though, it'd be, was it, was it beat up? I don't remember it being beat up and stuff though. It wasn't beat up. It was just old and it was like the color of a fart. It was like, it was like this boring beige brown kind of yellow oh so if it was like a cool color it may have been maybe i don't know and it was a okay so not only wasn't it an extended cab Mm -hmm. but it was a long bed on top of that so it was super long and just boring and ugly yeah um but it had it had the bench seat Mm -hmm. up front and i remember there'd be times you know i'd 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 slide on over next to daddy snuggle Mm -hmm. up a little snug up just a boy and his daddy Mm -hmm. driving around but the, the shifters in the middle though well, he had the three on the tree. Oh, three on the tree. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it gave me a more snuggling room. <laughs> more snuggling room. I'd snuggle in there and, and smell his dip breath. Daddy dip breath? Daddy wintergreen dip breath. Did he have one of those tumblers for dip? He always had the red solo cup. With the the Kleenex or something yeah, in the bottom of always it? always yeah. a Kleenex in the bottom. And, you know, thinking back to those times... Like that smell yeah. of of my dad's spit. <laughs> yeah, it's so like it takes me back. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the dip cup, man. That was that was a staple. And man, there'd be times where you'd spill the dip cup. Uh, you'd hit a turn. Uh, you'd slam on the brakes. The dip would dip. That's why you got to get one of those tumblers, like the butt 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 the butt cups, the butt tumblers yep. that you put your cigarette butts in. That kind of thing. That way you don't spill it. Daddy's butt son. tumblers. <laughs> it reminds me of those those old cigarette ashtrays that had like the sand bag on the bottom. Yeah, you remember what those? was that about? Was that to keep it from f- getting knocked over or something? I think so. I think they were for cars. Like you could put them on the dash. Oh, but the crazy thing is, 
they never seem very deep. They yeah. See, so it's like shallow. And if you roll down your windows, the ash is going to go everywhere. Mm-hmm. So are you just like hot boxing? Hot boxing. So, and then when you get, when you stop somewhere, you dump out the ashtray. Oh man. That to this day, that pisses me off, dude. Like if I pull up to a seven 11 and I see like a stack of cigarette butts, like on the concrete, like when you get out of the car, you know, yeah. right there on the line. Yeah. Dude, that pisses just me off. Just throw in the trash. Dude, I'm like, there's a tra- I can see a trash can from mm-hmm. here. I can see it. See it. I can see it. I had a friend that used to work at a gas station and he would get so mad because people would come in and buy blunts mm-hmm. and break them open and empty them in the parking lot. Well, yeah, because they're going to use it for, you know, marijuana use. Of course. Who the fuck smokes a Swisher Sweet? Swisher Sweet? A Swisher Sweet. My brother used to smoke Swisher Sweet. Actually, he was a big black and mild fan. Really? Yeah. Okay, a black and mild I can understand, but, but a, a Swisher, Swisher sweet? sweet? No, like who's going to, or the uh, White Owls, is that what they're called? I was going to say a peach White Owl. Or like, yeah, vanilla flavored, any kind of cigar. You're not smoking a cigar. If I see somebody buy mm-hmm. a peach White Owl and light it, I just think to myself. Where the hell did you get him? Psychos are us. <laughs> I, I would like to see the percentage of, <laughs> of peach white owls that have actually been, been used, smoked, um, right. as sold. Never smoked. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to that. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a cold, cold Saturday here in Oklahoma. It, it was weird, man. I've, I've been, uh, I've been expecting. We had that nice two days in a row, back to back. Oh, yeah. T-shirt weather. Felt great. Mm-hmm. And then just hit you like last night. Drizzled for a bit. Weatherman tells you it's going to rain all weekend. It's not doing that, but it is dreary. So now I'm have to wear a jacket and a hoodie combo. It's fucking the end of March. It sucks. It sucks. I wanted to get up and go run some errands today. Right. Um, after I had my wings. Mm-hmm. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. <laughs> not going to do gonna it. Going to stay in, stay warm, stay dark. So you're not going to do shit today after this? I got to edit these podcasts, That's man. That's true. Before we get them up for that live show. The live show that just happened. That already happened. <laughs> it's, it, it, I feel like this whole situation is throwing my brain into a weird It loop. is. I'm in a weird like. Like I, I kind of feel a little like out of place right now because I'm like, well, what do we talk about? Do, yeah. What do we say for the live show that already happened? Right. You know, do we, do we re- revisit some old memories? Do we forge ahead? Do we go off the list? What, what do we, we do? do? What do we do? I, I, I was going to bring a list that I totally, I I got probably half a block from your house and I remembered I left it at home and it was the, well, I've talked about it on the past on the podcast. I had had 52 jobs and I wanted to go through the list, kind of compare and contrast, but I don't have that list to go off of and I can't really remember all of them off the top of my head. It's so, 50 fucking two jobs. Yeah, that's a lot of jobs. Lot so of we'll jobs. save that, man. We can save I, that I want to see this list. Yeah. I've heard a lot about the list. I want to see the I list. I saw something on the list, uh, the, the our uh, little notes we have here, because uh, I was going to get it. It was a 50% off day at the Half Price Books. Yep. Uh, there was a tablet. Yep. Like, I'm going to go in and get that. And on the list here, you said Larry David moment. Yeah. And I'm 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 picturing it in my head. And I want you to tell me the story, and I want it. I hope it matches up. Sure. Okay. Do you want me to tell it? Do you want me to tell what my? What? Okay. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Okay. You guess. I'm gonna guess. You saw it. You wanted it. You're trying to find an associate to open the case to get it, and then someone else grabbed it, and you had like one of those. I was here for. I saw it first. Was that that moment? Close. Okay. It's pretty close. That's a that's a good jumping off point. Okay. Okay. So here's how it went down. I believe you sent me. Let's let's go back a few. A weeks. A long time ago, yeah. Like three weeks ago, mm-hmm. you sent me a photo that you took at Half Price Books right. of this very tablet. Right. It was an older Samsung Galaxy Tab. Mm-hmm. I think the, I think the price on it was like fifty bucks. Yeah. And you see, I've got I've got the third right here. Mm-hmm. This, this this little fella. He's he's good. He's 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 fast. Mm-hmm. He's new. It's a Samsung Galaxy S two, and it rules. <laughs> I call it the iPad killer. It rules. It rules. And uh, <laughs> does things like that. Yeah. Super cool. So, yeah, fast forward a couple of weeks, go to Half Price Books, mm-hmm. have a 50% off coupon. Right. And I got to thinking, while I love the third here, I don't really want to fill it up with sounds. I, this, mm-hmm. is, this is my personal tablet. Okay. I, wanted, I was going to plunk down the $25 plus tax to get a tablet for the strictly, sole purpose strictly for soundboard reason of being a soundboard that's a good deal too for a, yeah 25 bucks yeah. i mean for a piece of audio equipment we've paid more for these mics and this oh, mixer sure. and all this good mm-hmm. shit so uh so i'm walking by i'm looking uh yeah i, I get to half price because my 50 percent coupon was only good on sunday mm-hmm. so 
I get to half price as soon as they open. I mean, they're unlocking the door as I'm walking up and I am ready to get a tablet. I've got my coupon just crinkled ready. up in my pocket. I'm ready to go. I go in and, you know, when half price opens, there's not a ton of people working. Yeah. So I walk straight back there. I see the tablet. The tablet will be mine. Mm -hmm. I go back. I do exactly as you said. I walk away to find an associate. I come back and there's an old man looking at the tablet. And I come back with an associate. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we turn the corner, I see the old man looking. And then I see another associate walk up and go, do you need to take a look at something? I look at my associate and I'm like, he better not be taking a look at that fucking tablet. It's my tablet. That's my tablet. Yeah. I've seen the future and that tablet it is, is mine. mine. <laughs> so he's like, oh yeah, let me take a look at that. I look in his hand and he's got a fucking wrinkled up coupon. He's, he's getting it. Mm -hmm. he, he's saving the 25. He's, yep. he's the proud owner of an old but tablet. But you asked first. So what do you do in that situation? Man, I felt bad because yeah. he was a really cute old man. Mm -hmm. If he was an ugly old man, I might've just like, walked up and- Fuck you ugly ass old yeah, man. I, I just pushed him aside. Like, <laughs> just shove him down. Yeah, like bodied him aside <laughs> and just be like, no, that's my tablet, you old fuck. But he was cute. So, so I just kind of waved off the associate. I was like, hey, I think he's buying that. I appreciate it. You know, and she went about her business. And so what I do, I start lurking. Mm -hmm. I pull my phone out, act like I'm checking texts. I don't got no texts. Nobody texts me. Mm -hmm. I don't go out. So I'm checking my text, just like eavesdropping, right? waiting, mm -hmm. hoping, hoping he decides against it. I hear him say, oh, yeah, this, this is all right. Yeah, it's like, I'm kind of an older one. Wonder if, you know, I wonder if it's, if it's jailbroken. He's, talk, he's talking all this technical mumbo jumbo. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's weighing it out. I can hear him audibly weighing it out. Yeah. And I'm like, just put the fucking tablet back. <laughs> I didn't drive 20 minutes for this shit. Right. And uh, he, 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 he said, okay, I guess I'll take it. And gives it to the associate lady. And she's like, well, we'll just hold this up at the counter for you. So she walks off. Old man meets his wife. I see them looking at other books. A thought goes through my head. Uh -huh. What if I go up there and buy it? What if they're looking around? Uh -huh. There's probably a different associate running the register. The lady that was helping him probably just went up there sat it on the counter, mm -hmm. holding this for a guy. He's going to come get it when he's done looking around. Mm -hmm. So I make my way to the front. I ended up buying a book that I wanted. So not all was lost. I did save 50% off did of you, this $7 did, book. Did you do it? I walked up. I hand the guy the book. There was, a, there was indeed a different associate mm -hmm. working the counter. Hand the guy the book. And I see the tablet. The tablet is mocking it's, me. It's right there. It's it's mocking me. It's laughing at me. It's showing its titties to you and saying, you can't have it. It's saying, hey, boys. Oh, that's the sample I <laughs> should have put on here. Okay, next time. Uh, <laughs> remind me, Matt. Um, so I almost do it, man. The thought crosses my mind. I had the courage. I just, something something in me just said, eh, let the guy have, let it go. Right. Let it go. So I buy my book. I sheepishly put the receipt in the book and, and head out. And I, as I'm turning around to head out, the old man's standing right behind me. I had no idea he was literally right behind me the whole time. Oh, that would have been a total moment if you used to be like, I'm uh, holding the tablet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> or what if it, the, the, the male associate was like, oh, yeah, they told me they were holding it for an old man. And I was just like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that, that, that could, because you almost did it. I almost did it. I, I I was about to do it. The words were dancing on the end of mm -hmm. my tongue. And you would have felt so fucking guilty. You it would have been a guilty tablet. It would have been it would have been a cursed tablet. Yeah. Um you can't so, take a tablet from an old man. No, and maybe that was his only tablet. And that that was the thought that crossed right. my mind. Maybe he's was, been wanting one for a long time, just couldn't afford one. And he can you know, thank you so much, Mr. Half Price. You allow me to have my first tablet at seventy eight years old. He was an old old man. He was pretty old, okay. yeah. He was an older fella. Okay. But I felt good about myself. I felt like I made the right decision. You did. You you did the uh um the an angelic. Yeah, that's not the word. I did the right thing. You did the right thing. Call me Spike Lee. I really <laughs> wish, really wish I would have done it though in retrospect because man, what a good deal. But he was behind you. He would have oh, that would have been embarrassing. Well, okay, let me ask you this, Josh. Mm -hmm. Let's say let's say you were me in this situation. Sure. Let's say you did it. Mm-hmm. And the old man was behind me? And maybe he spoke up. 
Mm -hmm. What's the worst that could happen? You just walk out? Are you ever going to see this guy again? No, but I'd probably see those people again because I used to work there. Okay. It's, it is That's a one different. of my 52 jobs. <laughs> that is okay. That is what separates us in yeah. this situation. But oh man, I, I thought about this. I, I thought about it for like days and days. It, de it depends. It depends. Like if you were to go in there in a different mindset, like say you're having a bad week and you're just kind of just pent up or whatever and you get it. And the old man's like, excuse me, Sonny, I was holding that for me. It's my first tablet. And you just go, listen, old man. I'm buying this fucking tablet. I saw it first. I was being nice. You took it from me. Yep. This is my tablet. And why not? Buy that fucking Kindle Fire over there, you fucking old piece of shit. Yeah. You know what? Nooks are for old fucks like you. <laughs> Nooks are for old people. Uh, but, but I mean, but honestly, like in the grand scheme of things, if we're all just atoms circling a, a larger atom. Sure. Like, why wouldn't I have done that? Some people would have done that. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's what separates the men from the boys. That is true. So who knows? I don't know. It's, um, very, it's very Christian of you, Rob. Eh, you know, I'm a good guy. You know, I thought about that the other day. Speaking of that term, very Christian of you. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up and hearing one of my friend's dads say, that's mighty white of you. I have heard that a lot. <laughs> that is awful. Like, that is very awful. I never put it into context mm -hmm. until recently. Like, I didn't think of it as in, like, black versus white. I just mm. thought white, like, and maybe maybe this is truly my privilege speaking yeah. here, but Mighty I white. just thought white was like, like, you know, you think of, like, a white party sure. or, like, white sheets, robes, mm. perhaps. Clean of you. It's very yeah. white. mighty white of you. Mighty white, you know. When you, when you hear about God, mm -hmm. he's in a white robe in white clouds with white hair and a white beard. So mighty white, I just factored white into being, like, like, and I don't mean this in a racial way at all, but just like pure, mm -hmm. like, you know, what, what's, the, what's the pure is the driven snow? Sure. What color is that snow? White. Okay. So <laughs> I got to thinking of that and, and that, that term popped up in my yeah. head. That's mighty white of you. Mm -hmm. And I heard this guy say it many times when I was a kid. Yeah. And I thought like, was he just going around to half price books and saying that to associates that helped him get a tablet first? Mighty white of you. Oof. That's that's a that's a dated term. We gotta we gotta get rid of that. Yeah, there's a lot that we gotta get rid of. But yeah, I didn't I didn't uh, realize that what that meant until I was older. And a friend of mine said it at a bar because his you know grandpa used to say he's like he told the bartender he's like hey can I get a uh, can I get a double? He's like mighty why do you? And I go oh shit that's racist. He goes fuck it is. I'm like we can't we can't say that and you can't say that anymore. That's not cool. It not cool. No, it's not. It reminds me of that that Tim McGraw song when I think it was Tim McGraw and Nelly. Oh boy, they did a crossover. Did they? They did more than one, I think. Oh Jesus! Or maybe it was Tim McGraw and somebody else. But the song is called "Accidental Racist." Okay, I've heard of that. I've yeah, heard of that. and it's like Tim McGraw's retelling of a time, or maybe a time that a character he made up sure. was accidentally racist. And I thought, well, shit, that is an accidental I didn't mean that racist. By... No. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Boy treading on dangerous ground here with those sayings uh, you gotta you gotta watch yourself in this day and age especially uh, yeah i agree you really gotta watch yourself man so i, th I think we should wrap this one up here before yeah. too long we'll keep it nice and keep short. It short i have a i have a question for sure. you do you think after our 50th episode we should take a little break and i don't mean for like months but like Take a couple weeks off, reset, restructure, restructure, do what, a new new program. Maybe 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 do a little R and D, research and development. Yep. All yep. right. R and D. Right. Maybe R and D with a sprinkling of R and R right over the top. I like it. I mean, it's just a thought. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've talked about doing different things with it. We we've talked about maybe bringing some video into it. Yeah. So it'd be something we can kind of structure. A retooling. A retooling. Um, I'll tell you what, if, if you're listening out there, you made it this far in, congratulations. Mm -hmm. You are 30, about 34 minutes in, mm -hmm. uh, send us an email boys at boyspodcast.com. It's our new email. Address. Yes. Uh, shoot us an email and give us some thoughts. What do you th think so far? Right. You're hearing this 49 in, hopefully you saw the 50th one happen live. Take a moment, give a little back. Yeah. Pull out your brand new old tablet. Send us an email. Yeah. Old I'm, man. Old man. Have, why would, what if he was a fan? What if he's like our old, an old fan? What if he was like, do we have old, we don't have any old fans. I wonder what the oldest person that's listened to this and the youngest. I would probably say around 50. 50? Youngest probably in their teens. 
You think you think teenagers are listening like to boys? Like a late teen, like a nineteen. I was thinking about that the other day. What's that? Teen. Teen. Oh, were you, were you jerking it? I was about to, and I'm pulling it up. Whatever, and uh, pulling it up like your balls. No, no, I was pulling up the old the old site, <laughs> the old <laughs> okay. the, the old www dot. What is your site? What's your site? I go preference? to multiple ones, uh-huh. but I'm I'm an ex videos guy. Okay, all right. It's just it's simple. It's yeah. all there. Does the job. Uh, and then I started thinking about, and I stopped, and I started thinking about categories. Okay, and there's there used to be a few, and now there are min- million. Oh yeah, millions, minions. There minions. are minions. There, that's <laughs> there actually are a category. Yeah, there's minion a min- porn. Yeah, minion yeah. porn. Oh god. Uh, but I was thinking, okay, you know, you got your, you got your amateur, mm-hmm. you got your milf, you got your uh, pog. Yeah, baby. Yes, and then and then there's there's teen. There is also ebony. Ebony, which that's weird too. That's kind of racist. Yeah, I get. Well, I mean, but you can't say blacks. No, you, just, can't say you can't that. say that. That sounded like Alex Jones when yeah, you said that. I did. Yeah, oh, mm, blacks. Mm, I'll break your face. Uh, <laughs> That's one you got to put on there. Uh, okay. Teen. With with all these people getting in trouble these days with fucking underage kids. Sure. Uh, one of our senators just fucking did that. Yep. Uh, you think about that. You go, okay, teen. Or old boy uh, getting arrested for child porn. Yep, as discussed. So, does teen in the porn, ju- it strictly just means 18, 19. Well, yeah, it has to. So why don't legally. they just say 18 plus instead of saying teens? Because teens just sound just clicking that makes you feel like, uh, like yeah. teens. Like you you see the word teens and legally you can only jack to two of, of the those of the 10. There, there, are, nine. There, are, there are five other age categories. There's seven. Of teen. Wait. Well, there's five. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's five. Oh, you're right. Yeah. And then 18, 19 are the ones that. Whoa, I you know did, what I mean? Yeah, dude. No, you just blew my mind because when you say teen, I think from 10 to 20. But 10 isn't a teen. No. 11 isn't a teen. No. 12, getting close, baby. And then 13. 13. 14, 15, 16, okay. 17. Yeah. So two of the don't seven. Don't say teens because that's gross. I mean, I don't I don't jerk at the teen porn anyway. It's mm-hmm. not my thing. I'm not a nubile guy. You're more I'm, of a, like a, a mature poser. I am a, I am. Grannies. I mean, mature. Yes. Granny very squirters. Much mature, not granny squirters. That's. <laughs> Gross. Do I make you horny? I'm just saying it's a, it's a category that should not be. I agree. It just shouldn't be. I agree. Either. I don't look at teens, man. Teens don't, don't do, do it for me. They don't. When I when I'm when I'm ready to jack off. When I <laughs> when I pull out this thing and just mm-hmm. I'm ready to beat the shit out of it. Yeah. T- it ain't. It's never teens. Well, no, never teens. I think I'm getting to an age where like. Like even if like I'm at the mall or I'm out in public and I see a group of teens, I I'm immediately annoyed. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> like, old, dude. So it's like I'm not jerking into that. Like that Louis C.K. bit where he's talking about girls at the club. It's like I don't want a 21 year old. I mean, I'll jerk off to you later, but I'm yeah. not gonna fuck you. No. You know? Yeah, th- we're we're just exposing truths here today. Yeah, man. So we Sorry. got a lot of feedback, by the way, on the uh, Kyler episode, Kyler and Brody. Yeah, uh, that was a deep dive, wasn't that it? That was interesting, man. <laughs> that, was interesting that was one. that was intense. I I went home that night, mm-hmm. pulled out the third here, mm-hmm. uh, cleared off the soundboard app, and watched flat Earth videos for like three hours. Did you come up with any? Uh, <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you a flat Earther? No, here? not at no. all. I think no. I. I, I with all due respect, I completely think it's baloney. I think it's a bunch of malarkey. It's a bunch of malarkey. It, it is, but you're entitled to your totally, opinion. Totally, you're entitled Here, to your like, views. Question everything. Of course, question everything. And yeah, sure. Explore it, but also know that there's scientific facts to back up that we are definitely living on a globular Earth. Yeah. As said earlier. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Man. Yeah, it's, it's it's interesting. It it was cool to dive in and sure. to talk, and and I felt like I, I I my takeaway was that I learned some things that night. Mm. Whether I completely agree with them, or I'm completely in line with them, no, no. But it, it was entertaining, and yeah. uh, it, again, you know, it gives you something to think about. Super fun to sit down and talk with them. Yeah, good guys. Cool. And lastly, man, I got to thinking the other day. So, mm. uh, did you get to thinking? Get to drinking? I got to thinking, drinking, stinking, stinking, pinking. Pinkin? Putting the pink in the stink. Yeah, baby. 
<laughs> I got to thinking the other night about uh, a job I used to have. Okay. Okay. So it's, a, it's an office job. Let me set the stage oh, here. Oh, boy. Um, office, big open office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Non-cubicle? Non-cubicle. Just desks? Yeah. Okay. A big shared office with desks that, that weren't connected. It's like, here's a desk. There's a desk. There's a desk. There's Every, a desk. Everywhere a desk. Everywhere desk. a desk. desk. <laughs> and uh, you strategically place your desk in a certain way. Okay. Because you don't want the boss man looking over your shoulder. Right. You don't want the sun to be glaring off your screen. That's true. A lot of factors here. Mm -hmm. So where I was sitting, and I, I'm not going to name any names or genders because I don't want this person to find out. I'll just refer to them as one of my coworkers. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, let's say their name is Pat. I was going to say right? Pam, but Pat works. Well, Pat, Pat's, Pat's yeah, it's uh, neutral, gender fluid. Yeah. I'm I, I'm sitting and I can see Pat. Mm -hmm. And Pat is a kind of kind of a gross kind of a gross uh, person. Person. Okay. Pat liked to to pick Pat's nose. Oh. Okay. Habitual nose picker. Yeah. Okay. And there's nothing that grosses me out more than a nose picker at a keyboard. Right. Because yeah. like, it's getting in. It's going to get in them keys. It's getting in the keys. It's mm -hmm. getting in the mouse. It's getting in the grooves. You know what? You know what's not going. Uh, an air duster is not going to get that booger out. No, because boogers harden. And mm -hmm. guess what? It's like it's like the cement that holds this very house together. It's like How, the mortar. The house that boogers built. <laughs> the house that boogers <laughs> built. Pat's boogers. Um. So I'm I'm sitting at my desk, slacking off. Mm -hmm. It was like a Friday. Had my work done for the looking week. up teens. Yeah, looking up ebony, <laughs> ebony mature teen granny squirters, <laughs> pogs. You name it. Yeah. Uh, I see Pat digging. Mm -hmm. Just the usual Pat. You know, a very Pat like dig. Yeah. Digging in the left nostril. I'm gonna I'm gonna recreate it here. Okay. Pat pulls out the finger. Giant bird. Glistening. Glistening under the tungsten light. A nugget, if if you. If you oh, want. a nug for okay. sure. A booger nug. A, a gender neutral booger. Okay. Examines the booger on the finger. Okay. Places the finger in the mouth. And, and eats. Ah! The, eats the booger. Who? Oh, I'm I'm seriously about to throw up. You hear about that? People talk about bo booger eater. I've never once seen anyone eat a booger. I've never known anyone who ate a booger. Well, you're sitting across from someone oh. that's eating a booger. Oh, God, that's so of gross. You're telling me. I've never eaten a booger. In your 30 some odd years of existence. No. You've never eaten a booger. No, nope. I have okay. swallowed snot, but I've never eaten a booger. Have you ever picked your nose and had not a booger, but mm -hmm. some wetness mm -hmm. and just gave it a little. Look, I'm going to do it right now. Look, I did it. Whoa. Oh, no. that, there, there was a little booger in there. <laughs> a little taste, a little morsel. That was no, little... I've never done. I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to be like, ugh, but ugh, I'm no, I've never. I don't do that. I also don't wipe my ass and sniff my hand. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody a... does. That I don't know anybody, but I, somebody probably does. Yeah, that monkey that does it and falls out of the tree. There's probably somebody that loves like the smell of their own balls, so they'll put their hands down their pants and get that sweat, and then smells their own balls. Again, Josh, you are lying if you said you've never checked the stats. Of my balls? Yes. I check the stats, but I'm not like habitually okay, yeah. sniffing my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I need to put that on the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> so I, th I, th I thought about this the other day. It randomly popped into my head because okay. I had blacked it out. Okay. Much like that bloody booger. Whoa. I, <laughs> I, it, it, I was cleaning house the other day, mm -hmm. just you know, doing my thing. I was sweeping, eating my boogers or whatever, and it, yeah. and it popped into my head. And I, and I thought about it and I was like, man, so I saw Pat eat that booger, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Didn't tell anybody mm -hmm. until now. Never told a soul. Pat wasn't really liked in the office. Okay. Pat was kind of a, a, a bitch or an asshole, mm -hmm. depending on the day. I mean, a man could be a bitch and a woman could be an asshole. So, yeah. So I thought about it, man. Could there be anything worse in a workplace than being known as the booger eater? Like if somebody, I'm sure somebody is like taking a shit in the toilet and like got sidetracked and forgot to flush. The so like somebody the, walks in and sees somebody's logs, uh, yeah, a log lever. I think, I mean, I think the one who shits loud at work, that's, that's worse than being a booger eater. The loud shitter. The loud shitter. There's always a loud shitter. Or yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm a pretty quiet shitter. Yeah. I, I, I breathe heavy. I kind of. 
you know, kind of do those. <sighs> Depending on water. Yeah. Sometimes it's rough. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes most, it's smooth. Most, I'm going to say 90% of the time it's going to be all right. Uh, that one ten percent where you'd be like, but just mute it. But you're talking about like the, uh, uh, uh. dude. Nothing is worse than that. Like no. I'm, I'm not afraid to poop in public. No, right? Like I, I will poop in public, mm -hmm. no problem. D well, depending on most places, yeah, yeah. Well, let's, let's say the mall. Yeah. Let's say you're at the mall, scoping the teens, you know, <laughs> and uh, you got shit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to J.C. Penney's and take a dump. I go to J.C. Penney's to dump. Because they're, they're hidden. They're hidden shitters. Mm -hmm. Which means they're going to be clean. But yes, clean yet old and kind of like moldy smelling, but but clean. In nostalgic. The fact that it's, not... an, it's a nostalgic shitter. You know, um, on the old on the old toilets, like the metal pieces would like there'd be like condensation on them all the mm -hmm. time. And they're mm -hmm. like the, the metals turning green and oxidizing. Yes. Anyways, it's, it's a great style. It's a great throwback, throwback shitter. But it has happened to me. You go to these shitters. And there's where the old man is. Old man looking at his tablet, taking a shit. Just got it. Grunting. Mm -hmm. Grunting, dude. I don't like it. Oh, if and the that's, plops, hearing the plops. <laughs> if that's going to be our future, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to live anymore. Oh, it will. I mean, eventually, eventually we're all going to get to that, that stage. That's my sad, dude. The grunt shits. The grunt shits, the the standing at the urinal for like a minute after you're done pissing. So you don't dribble on yourself? Because you're just leaking, man. Have you ever done that? Have you ever have you ever thought you were done? And then you put it back in your pants? And a little piss came out? Yeah. A little torque? Yeah. Like Is that like, what you called it as a kid? Torque, yeah. Yeah, torque. Like more more than a dribble. Like more than a dot. A dab. Like it was, I've, I've had like a, str like <laughs> you put it back in and then he just goes, blah, like, God damn it. I've never, I've never oh, done that, man. It's, it's happened like twice in my life. However, growing up in the church, you know, every Sunday morning would wear my favorite khakis mm -hmm. and it never failed, man. Oh, the khakis. The pecker tracks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pecker tracks. You have to untuck your shirt and like hang it down. Yeah. And then or you, you got put this, like a hymnal in front of you or something. Yeah, you got this terrible like Buell boy that's like down to your knees because mm -hmm. you were a dorky kid. Mm -hmm. Clothes back then were bigger, man. They were bigger. Bigger. And I miss that. You miss big clothes? I know we talked about Jinkos a while yeah. back. Man, uh, again, Erica and I, we have on, on our direct TV, we have the MTV Classic. Right. They play blocks of music, like 30 minutes of hip hop, 30, 30 minutes of rock, sure. whatever. We, we, we were big fans of the hip hop mm -hmm. uh, blocks on there. The like 90s UMTV stuff. Like UMTV raps and yeah, stuff. Like Arrested that, yeah, Arrested Development. Oh, yeah. Bands like that. Mm -hmm. Groups, acts like that. And man, I, by nature. I miss, I miss, when I was young, I miss the hip hop fashion. Mm -hmm. I miss like the big clothes. Did you ever dress in hip hop fashion? Yeah. Dude, I, I had cross colors. Me too. Pants. Yeah, you remember me too. those? Yeah, yeah. My, my, I had purple ones. Mine were, mine were. Every panel was a different color oh. and some were striped. Some had like zigzags. Some were like a hunter green See, or a purple. So yours were real loud. See, my, Very loud. I had just purple. They're purple baggy and the stitching was a darker purple. That's tight. It was pretty dope. Man. And I didn't realize that that's culture appropriation because cross colors is. No, but the whole point cross colors. I guess so. It's yeah, like, yeah. no, it's, 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 it's accepting. Accepting one another. Cross colors across the board. Like, across like, the pants. Like Yaga. Yeah, that was. I guess I don't know. I never. I've never seen a black well, like, person my, my, wear my, yaga. Well, hey, for us, by us, Fubu is strictly not for, for not for the, the. Yeah, and let's just be honest. Like, I think we can give mm -hmm. our African American friends that. Yeah. Like, I don't want to wear Fubu. But my my brother used to wear Fubu jerseys. <sighs> and he's white. He's white, very white, dude. You, if you're white, white, just don't. Don't wear the Fubu. Just don't. Don't. It's silly. No, I used to, uh, that was like before I got into punk rock, like my cousin, when Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style came out. No, it wasn't that. It was the Bone, the first Bone album. Okay. Got, uh, got into hip hop. So I started dressing hip hop, baggy, mm -hmm. baggy hoodies with baggy dicky pants and uh, a pair of basketball shoes of some sort. Right. And that lasted for maybe half a school year. And then I found out about Green Day, mm -hmm. and I traded in those for like work pants, and then a work shirt and a tie. Yeah, and it that, was like you sported that quite often, literally in a year. Yeah, like flipped from that to that. 
it's crazy how you changed when you were younger. Oh yeah, all the time. And now that we're older, the change is more gradual. Mm -hmm. Which I still change. I go through phases. I, I sure. dress differently, whatever. But it's not it's not as drastic, and it's definitely not as abrupt. Would you say that you've? I mean, you're like you you are what you what you are. Like yeah. you're not really gonna change. Yeah. From from what you are, I could stand to be a little more fashionable. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a slob. Sure. But I'm just a t-shirt and jeans kind of guy. Yeah. I mean, but the, I think I think you hit a t you hit a you hit a time in your life where like that's what you are like. I, my dad's always been like jeans and a like a, a short sleeve button shirt. Like, yeah, that's it. That, that I, I when as soon as you said dad, mm -hmm. your your dad, I mm -hmm. pictured your dad in that exact mm -hmm. outfit and that, and like a pair of like super like crisp ironed jeans with like a crease and then like white fucking New Balances, yeah. like like blind you white, blind you white, yeah. Like and as soon as they get a scuff on them, toss them out, get a new pair of white ones, new new whites, new whites. New whites. Mighty white. <laughs> I was about to say that. Uh, okay, so when I say my dad, uh -huh. what do you picture? Man, it depends. Is well, your dad now? It's like jean shorts or just a cargo shorts mm -hmm. and a sleeveless t-shirt. Oh, and a trucker hat. Yep. In always. a non-ironic way. No, like like a true yeah. truck hat. But back the in the hat? day, like when when he was still working before pre-retirement, it was jeans, a pair of sneakers, and a t-shirt usually like a black or a, maybe a maroon it's like a plain colored t pocket tee or something yep. and that's it my dad rocked that pocket tee for mm -hmm. years and years and years but i brought that up because my my wife is recently uh she wants to she said she wants to change change her her style she's tired mm -hmm. of being like a jeans t-shirt person she okay. wants to start wearing skirts and dresses and stuff I'm like that's fucking awesome yeah cool and then it got me to thinking like what is my stuff when someone looks at me, what do they see? Is like, do I look gross? Do I look no? You trashy, don't look gross. You know? No, and and what you're wearing today, if mm -hmm. I can paint a picture here with my yeah. words, it's pretty much what I picture you as. Like, if yeah. I was to draw you as a cartoon character, mm -hmm. like this would be what your cartoon character would be wearing all the time. Got your cocksucker cap on. <laughs> yeah. Got your hoodie. Yeah. Jean jacket over it. That's mm -hmm. that. That right there is the signature piece. Yeah. That's the that's that's the that's buckle. the PFM. That's yeah. the buckle of the PFM. Yep. And then, you know, skinny black jeans mm -hmm. and like usually like black shoes or all star. Well, you don't mm -hmm. really wear all stars anymore, do you? These are jeans. They're all stars. Oh, okay. okay. Black well, on black all stars. Yeah, they're just black on black. Monochrome. Okay. There's some butt heads. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> so basically that. But see, this shirt though, I got yesterday at a thrift store. It's a, it's one of those V neck. What do you, what kind of shirt would you call that? Mm. It's like a softball shirt, I guess. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a softball tee. Not not quite a baseball. So like tee. the vintage, like I, I'm still a big fan of vintage. Shit. I was gonna when say you, yeah, the vintage. When shirt. you can find cool stuff, it's fine. But then I'm getting to this point where I don't want to wear brands anymore. Right. Just want to wear like just a plain. Just buy a pack of Hanes whites. <laughs> yeah, mighty white. Mighty whites. A pair of pants. A pair of shoes. No brands and just fuck it. Dude, that's when you become a dad. Yeah. That's when you become a dad. Why am I going to, why am I going to be a walking commercial for that corporation? Dude. Well, in the industry that you and I are in outside mm -hmm. of the podcast, get a lot of free t-shirts. Oh yeah. 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 So I basically wear a guitar oriented t -shirt. Oh, that's a dad. That's a, oh, <laughs> no, that's no, a no, rigs a of dad. You know, if you're wearing like a Fender t-shirt or a Fender, like the, uh, the smash mouth shirt, it's buttoned down. It's got flames on it with the, the electric guitars all over it. And it's like at the Fender logo in a guitar pick. <laughs> Or the dude, the ultimate dad. I got it free with the stool. Oh, that's making me cringe. <laughs> oh my gosh. The ultimate dad, though, in the guitar world is like the, the okay, it's like the t shirt that's tucked into some jean shorts with oh a braided boy. belt. Oh, yeah. And on the back, it says something like, Life is full of important decisions. And then you got your Les Paul, your Strat, your Flying yep. V, your, your ES335. Oh, yeah. Like, and it's like a grid of like 20 guitars. Mm -hmm. That might be the most that dad. That is the most dad. That's, that's the rigs of dad right there. And it's got the Fender logo just on the chest. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. why would like you the, put the big design on the front where you no, can you put see it? it. The, just the pocket T area. The yep. Fender logo. The left, the left side there. Total dad. Got Oof. your Marshall mini fridge. But yeah, I just, I, th I thought about that, man. Like, wow, I am becoming a dad, but also, man, I've, I've been, I've been adventuring a little further yeah. into like uh bigger clothes. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about this before, kind of going back to the Jinko conversation. Like, man, like, I, like, okay, I, at this point in my life right now, I'm a large, large t-shirt guy. Mm -hmm. I don't wear my t-shirt skin tight, mm -hmm. but I'm a, I'm a comfortable large. So we, were, we got some free t-shirts at work the other day and man, I, I, I went crazy. I went a little crazy. 
Did you just, just, just grab them all? No, 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 no. I grabbed a 2X. Why? Just to try it? Just wanted to try it. Man. What do you think? Did you put it on? I, I, I brought it home. I washed it. Uh-huh. Then I dried it. Then I folded it. Then I wore it. And man, it was so freeing and comfortable. Was it a Jared? Not, it wasn't as big as you would think. I thought it was. Did it pass the to, test? Did it, it pa- oh, it passed okay. the test. Would you, would you explain the test? <laughs> okay, the test is if you stand upright and you, you bend your arm at a 90 degree angle, like you're a robot. Right, straight and out. If, and Yeah, and if the sleeve touches your, your forearm, forearm mm-hmm. that shirt's too damn big. That's a Jared shirt. That's, that's, that's it's, a, it's a throwback to our old friend Jared, Jared that you wore, wore huge shirts. Giant yeah. shirts. The other Jared, he wear those shirts in heaven. Yeah, and the, the other Jared test is if the back of your shirt has a hangy, you, we all know what the hangy in the back is. You know what I call that? What's that? I call that the ding dong, Jerry. <laughs> the ding dong, Jerry. Because yeah, yeah. it fits like a bell. Right. And you're just dinging and dong and back and forth. And, and it's like high in the back. Yes. It's like a high shirt ding dong, Jared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's another test. Yeah. Which usually comes because Jared himself would always do this motion. Down. He would always pull his very large shirts down, which in time would stretch them out like into a bell. this beautiful bell-like uh, yeah. pinafore, if you will. Yeah. There was him, and then there was another fellow we went to school with who would do the opposite, and he would pull the shoulders up. It's kind of like doing the dirt off your shoulders but thing. But all the time. Yeah. To the point where he had stretched out collars on his shirts. Well, and I have another friend, Jeff, mm-hmm. where uh, take your finger like you're pinching. Yeah, and he pops it. Uh, he would pinch, but right in the middle where your collar is, right yeah. underneath your Adam's And it would apple. stretch that out. And he would always do this. Listen, you can hear it. He would go. He would do this all the time. I don't know if it was a way of getting air down the front of the shirt or maybe like the collar was too tight, or something. But he would do it all the time. So there's all these different pull methods. It's so I strange. I don't know if I really ever do that. I do like if I get a new shirt and I do do a, a, a pull to the stretch out because they're always maybe it's a little, just a little too tight. Right, right. That's about it. Yeah, it's it's, it's weird. Um, But yeah, so I got the 2X. Yeah. Wore it, dude. What's on it? What's printed on it? Uh... Is there any? Is there? Is there? Is there a design, a logo of sorts? Oh, you know, it's the, it's just the Keeley K on the okay. front. Oh, yeah, you got just, one of those. Yeah, okay. on the front, it was like a it's like a gray one. But man, so comfortable. Well, so now, roomy. now I know what to do for you for like birthdays and Christmas. I'm just gonna start buying you XL. Dad. No, not no, not XL. Double X. Double X. It was a double X. Oh, okay. So you jumped. I thought you just got an XL. I went. No, I jumped XL, went you straight skip, to 2X. Yeah. I should have went to 3X. You stretched those ears too too big. Yeah, I had a real blowout. Real blowout. I should have went to 3X. Though. Yeah. What? That's a dress. You put a belt on it. <laughs> Cinch it. Like Link. Cinch it up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like Link. Mm-hmm. Man, so yeah, we should probably wrap it up here in a minute. Sure. But uh, man, it's this has been so fun. Yeah. And it, just to take a moment here to reflect as we as we close up here. Yeah. On this 49th episode going into 50, 50, man. it feels weird. I, it probably feels like I'm going to feel when I hit 50. Dude, it's... What does it mean? What does it mean? What's this life for? Has this meant anything? It meant something to me. If it's meant something to you, mm-hmm. faithful listener, send us an email. Yeah. Boys at boyspodcast.com. Visit us at boyspodcast.com. And you can go to Facebook and Instagram and all kinds of... Ta- hey, feel free to tag us in Instagram shit if you think we yeah. think it's funny or cool or whatever. That's a good idea. Just give us a tag. Maybe we'll give you a shout out. Yeah. We'll talk about it. We'll yeah. rap about it. Yeah. I'll wear my double XL and be as comfortable as a motherfucker. Speaking of, we have new boys t-shirts. Yes, we do. And uh, if you're listening to this, you saw them at the live show. <laughs> yeah. See, this is still throwing me for a loop, You've seen man. them. You've seen them on the grams. You've probably seen people out and about wearing them. I hope so. Yeah. I, it, I, I've seen I've seen a couple out and about, man. Oh yeah, and it makes me proud. Oh, I love it. it makes me real proud. I was real proud of that design. You know, we talk a lot about nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you know, I'm a, I'm a kind of a video game kind You're of guy. You're a video gaming. Yeah. So we went with the we went with the classic uh, Doom inspired logo. Mm-hmm. Thought they turned out great. They did. And we've got a few of those left. So if you miss the live show and you want one, if I, there are any left, yeah, th- we might we might have gotten rid of them. But if you want one, sh- shoot us an email. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll get you one. There, we'll get you one. You know, Twelve bucks or so. Might even cover the shipping if we're feeling generous. Ooh, I'm just saying. That's 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 new for Rob. Um, um, t- you know when I when I gave that man that iPad or that tablet, did your heart grow ten times that day? It did, and so did my shirt size. <laughs> well, uh, uh, there's one more thing I f- I was gonna say and I forgot. Again, a dad. Every single time I talk to my dad. Well, Rob, there's something else something I was gonna tell you, and I. Hell, I forgot. Hell, I'm like, Dad, you can call me back. No, 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 no. Dad, it'll be okay. Dad, (laughs) Dad, just 
Call me back. <laughs> By the way, I just want to end with this. Okay. Call your fucking dad Call every now dads, and then. Call your dads, guys. Call your folks. Dude, my dad got upset the other day because I hadn't called him. And I'll tell you what, that really hurt. That hurt me. It hurt me to feel like I hurt my dad's feelings. Yeah. So we're going to wrap it up right now. Um, please donate. Last thing we'd like. Yes. Uh, on our website, there's a golden donate button. You mm -hmm. can send us a couple bucks. Keep this going. Every little pinch counts. Every what? little every <laughs> little pinch of the shirt. And uh, yeah, that, that's all we got for you yeah, this yeah. week. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah, baby!